So Notion email has just launched, our Notion mail has just launched and it's exactly what you'd expect. It's Notion but for your email. It's an email client that you can download and set up with any uh, email account that you'd like and then you get features like automatic labeling, uh, AI support, snippets, code boxes that you usually see in Notion documents and so on and so forth. So in order to download it, the first thing we're going to do is head over to the Notion uh, website where for the email and click on this get Notion mail free button. This uh, should open up our download link asking you to log in with your Notion account. I'm just going to go ahead with Google, uh, give it the permissions that it needs and then it's going to ask you uh, what Notion mail can access. So since I'm connecting my Gmail account to Notion, I'm going to have it to give it some permissions like uh, reading, composing, sending and permanently deleting email from my inbox, seeing, editing, creating or changing my email settings and filters and so on and so forth. So once you've checked all of these boxes, go ahead and then click on continue. Once you're done, uh, you should see uh, mail.notion.so URL and uh, your new inbox should open up right here. So uh, now this is going to take you through a basic setup. So what you want to split into filtered views and what you want to keep in inbox or split from inbox. So I want calendar to be in inbox. I want uh, GitHub to be in inbox and I want social to be in inbox and then go ahead and click continue. We'll wait uh, for a second for this to load up and here we are. So now, as you can see, we have uh, emails that show up on the Notion team. I have my Google emails, uh, the email where I just granted Notion this view. And that is pretty much how you start using Notion mail. Now, uh, you can access the web client always, of course, but you can also go ahead and download Notion mail if that's what you want to look for. So you can quickly switch between Notion and uh, Notion Calendar and Notion Mail using this, these buttons at the bottom. So if I click on this, I can go from my Notion page or Notion workbook to my Gmail inbox. And then of course you can go ahead and add other inboxes as well. You get your standard uh, options here. You can create automatic labels. So if I just go ahead and click on auto labels, you can describe a type of email to label or uh, so or you can just have it auto label if you have notion ai in your plan i don't so i'm just going to use uh, let's say job offers and um, i want to move them to their own view so now this is going to search all relevant emails that i have create this label and uh, move all of those emails to a separate view where i can access them without having to worry about anything else so if i go ahead and click on save it's going to take a minute to create this new look and now as you can see i have emails sorted by this job offer label and if i head over to my inbox those emails are not there because they're uh, labeled completely differently and then of course you also have all of your existing gmail uh, labels that you can uh, use in here the custom emails and then of course if you want to go back to your regular uh, view you can just head over to all mail and you will see your email as you usually do since i haven't created any tags at the moment you will see all of the inbox tabs show up you can then go ahead and filter so you can filter by read or unread attachments calendar events uh, email addresses dates promotion social forums and updates and then of course uh, you can search by a uh, filter by your labels so if i search for uh, label uh, job offers right here and then i can save this as a new view and here we are so this is the same as my job offers view but uh, you can go ahead and make multiple additions and customizations to it and uh, that is pretty much it for uh, notion mail it's a simple email client for your uh, gmail account or whatever account you want to use with this where you can see your email previews uh, deal with emails a little better the email writing experience is also slightly better so if i go ahead and uh, let's say i want to compose an email so i will go and uh, oh wow the new email button seems to be missing oh it's right here so compose a new email a bit of a small button go ahead and click on it and this new email window will open this is very similar you've seen this in gmail also so let's say i'm sending an email to my own editorial I can uh, type in subject, so let's say 
leave application and now in the email body what you can do is that you can access the notion ai of course or you can use notion blocks the commands that you use in your notion pages and these are pretty much all of the commands that you use so you've got headings you've got regular text bulleted lists number lists code quotes call outs to do list schedules uh, attachments so on and so forth you've got text colors you've got background colors and then of course you've got some snippets for uh, a zoom link scheduled outreach scheduled reply and then follow up so these are tasks that you can schedule and leave in your emails so now uh, you can of course access this in your web client but what if you want to download the uh, notion mail well to do that head back over to the notion mail website and head over to the download section right on top where you can see notion mail calendar and the web clipper i'm going to go ahead and click on mail and uh, now as you can see this is available for uh, mac only at the moment uh, notion mail is available on desktop browsers and mac os ios is coming soon so unless you own uh, an iphone or a macbook can't really download it at the moment, but you can continue using it in your web browser, just like Gmail or any other web app. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media and if these videos don't help you out as much, do consider getting a membership and we'll see you in the next video.